we're going to talk about an interesting subject. Awesome. So while everyone is coming in, a quick, wonderful shout out on this Sunday. Uh, give me a quick line where you're coming in from. Always interesting to hear. We have a very philosophical topic today, um, but it's more relevant than you might think on first glance. And that is, what's harder, to predict the future or to predict the past? And uh, it's actually a really relevant topic when we talk about uh, cryptocurrencies. So yeah, uh, definitely interesting. Awesome. Um, what a day today, Sunday. I spent uh, the morning with Paul. We played tennis, went for a morning golf session with him. And now uh, back in. Sunday is always a bit of a chill day for me. Uh, I'm gonna research uh, a little bit today and uh, gonna go for some ice cream with Bettina a bit later on. Uh, yeah, nice, uh, little relaxed day. I think always necessary, get your mind off a little bit. But now, yeah, waiting a bit. And so I thought, hey, interesting topic for a YouTube live or wherever you're coming in. Awesome. So why don't we get started? Um, by the way, for those of you that have never seen this, I'm in our old office, um, actually our home slash old office. I can show that to you if you want. Yeah. So this used to be our office when we were like 10, 12 people. Um, yeah, it was a home office, so uh, good old days uh, because um, I, we're just sleeping basically <clears throat> one floor up and uh, yeah, uh, good old times. So cool, man, great people here. Fantastic, wonderful, good weekend, uh, nice. So let's talk about uh, predicting the past and predicting the future. And there's, this was a question I posted on Twitter and there was a big misunderstanding um, on what this actually means to predict the past and the future. So very simple example, um, if we look at the world right now, right? We just look at the world and let's start in a very, very large scale. What is harder? Is it harder to understand how it all started or why, where everything is going to? And I'm a scientist by heart, right? So I'm gonna go into the scientific stuff here. So no philosophical, no religious kind of stuff. But so for me as a scientist, everything is, I mean, at the end, if you look at thermodynamics and you look at how everything is gonna go more chaotic, um, there's no complex structures being created. So even though you have a solar system and there's life and life is very complex, that still means that overall, so you're gonna have complex systems in small micro bubbles, but in the large scale, at the end, complex things is dissolving and it's gonna go into a more homogeneous kind of solution. So it's actually quite easy to know what's gonna happen over the next trillions of years. And it's all gonna go into a dark soup where all the energy is gonna be out and it's all gonna be homogeneous. So we all, scientists kinda know this. So that's the future. Predicting the past is quite difficult because we're not 100% sure where this all came from. We don't know, we think it is the Big Bang, but we don't know. Now this is a really large scale. Let's make this a bit smaller. And let's imagine you have a shape like this, and I put a little ball anywhere on here, anywhere, and I let it go. Where is it gonna end up? That's a prediction for the future. Where is it gonna end up? And it's very easy to know that at the end, this thing is gonna end up at the very bottom, right? So it's gonna end up, and we know this for sure. Now if I ask you, this is the thing, where did it start? It's almost impossible to answer this question because you have an unlimited amount of possibilities where this thing started from. And the reason why this question is actually extremely relevant, and that's part of chaos theory, is cryptography. In cryptography, the most important theorem, if you want to call it, is that it's imposs almost impossible to predict the past. Predicting the past doesn't mean that you know the past or there's research. It is you look at this is the state right now. Where did this come from and where is it going? Where is it going is the future. And the reason it's so relatively <laughs> easy to predict the future on large scales. I'm not talking about what's going to be the weather, what's going to be the lottery. That is it's just as difficult. But on large scales, predicting the future because you have certain laws 
in thermodynamics and in, in, in math that are one-way one vectors, right? So they're one-way. And in cryptography, it's exactly the same way. Cryptography, everything is set in a way that it's many times almost unidirectional. So it doesn't matter what kind of cryptography you're talking about. It could be some hashing algorithms. It could be elliptic curve cryptography that's used in pretty much all cryptocurrencies. It's really easy to predict the future out of these algorithms. So I have an input, and it's quite easy for a computer to predict what's going to come out out of this algorithm at the end. And it's super, super simple to do this. But it's really, 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 really difficult, close to impossible, to calculate backwards, to know what is the past. And there's many things in this case where it's actually really difficult to predict the past and it's quite easy to predict the future in certain things. I understand, in many things it's not the case. But honestly, there's more processes where it's harder to predict the past than it is to predict the future. And it is a very important concept in cryptography, in math, in science, um, to kind of understand this. And so the reason I just wanted to question this or throw this in is because many times it, certain things challenge our understanding about the world and challenge our understanding on how certain things work. And I know that it, it's not so relevant to predict the, the past in most environments because, well, we believe the past has already happened, right? But in, if you could predict the past, then you would actually be doing, you would actually be quite rich in most instances because you would know what is the process a certain algorithm went through. So if this is a complete new concept to you, let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Let me know if I'm wrong. I love when, when you tell me I'm wrong. It challenges me and I love the challenge. But don't just tell me you're wrong. Tell me why I'm wrong. Give me reasonable arguments. One thing I want to foster on this channel is something that I think the cryptocurrency community, the blockchain community is a bit lacking. And that is the, the rational agreement. Um, cryptocurrencies are many times very blind. Um, people just follow. They don't think uh, there's no rationale behind. So let me know what you think about this. And uh, yeah, always interesting. So short little philosophical video on game theory. And not so much game theory, to be honest. More on chaos theory. That it's actually harder to predict what happened than many times what is going to happen. Um, especially on larger scales. So yeah, cool. So very short video, and with this, if you want more, not so much philosophical stuff, but many times more rational and uh, how to and how do these things work, then uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments below. And uh, very much looking forward to the next video and seeing you again. Have a good uh, weekend, have a nice Sunday, and have a good one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.